Hey guys, How To Prank It Up is almost 3 million prankster strong, so thank you so much for subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button right now. And let me know in the comments below what prank you would like to see me do next. So you want to know how to prank? Today I'm with Evan Arrow TV and we're going to show you pranks you can pull with condiments. Check it out. This prank is super easy and makes for a great reaction. All you gotta do is get some mayonnaise or any kind of sandwich spread people are gonna be using. And then we have some fake cockroaches. You can use other fake bugs too, but these seem pretty good. All you gotta do is stick these guys inside. Oh my gosh, you could probably just leave one where it's just kind of like sticking out like that. But really the cool part would be just sticking them in where no one can even see them. And this is like a treasure hunt, man. For reactions. You just stick them in there and then you just wait and see who's gonna scoop it out. And then whenever someone's at the barbecue or the picnic or whatever and the mom comes up or the aunt whatever and she pulls that open and they're like starting scooping out these mayonnaise things, right? Imagine half this jar is done, all these people are eating sandwiches. All of a sudden you see that pop out. Ew, what is that? What is that? Ah! They're gonna freak out. They're gonna think that the mayonnaise is infested. And the best part is you come up and go, oh my God, is that a cockroach? Huh? Hmm. <laughs> oh, mayonnaise tastes disgusting, but still. Ugh. Mayonnaise. Better on a sandwich than straight up. But great reactions with a fake cockroach. Okay, for this condiment prank, you're gonna pull a classic switch. You're gonna take two condiments that look a lot alike and switch the two of them. So you got some ketchup here. You wanna take a bottle that's like half empty already and you wanna get some sriracha or some other kind of hot sauce. You're gonna replace the ketchup with sriracha. Ooh, that would mean for a good surprise. Some people might like this. That's true, some people might like it. Also be careful, some people do have like allergies to chilies and stuff. But then again, some people are gonna be like, that's so hot, what's going on with this? Well, nice. So you're just gonna pump that sriracha in there. Perfect blend. Looks exactly like ketchup. There is no telling that apart. Yeah, we'll pour it out like I want to see it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Some ketchup. Oh, nice, fries. dude. See, so, yeah, some of it doesn't like spicy food or hot sauce. They're going to be like, this prank sucks. Yeah, they're, uh, they're <laughs> not going to be happy with you. Warning, this prank is messy. You're going to get ketchup and baking soda. The prank is taking the baking soda and pouring it inside of the ketchup bottle. We're doing this in the bathroom because this is really messy. Oh boy, I put too much in maybe. I probably did put too much in. But anyways, the uh, you wanna pour the baking soda in there, you're gonna cover, put the lid back on, and you're gonna wanna clean off any baking soda evidence. The baking soda is gonna mix with the vinegar, and it's gonna cause this ketchup bottle to essentially explode. It's gonna expand like a volcano. We're doing it in the bathroom because uh, we're in a hotel and I don't make too much of a mess. But once somebody shakes it up, oh, it's going already. I want some ketchup, man. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, it's still going. Yeah, this stuff's awesome. It's super messy though, so be careful and just work on the timing of this thing because, you know, it could backfire and end up in your whole refrigerator or something. Um, I did this with Crazy Russian Hacker already uh, and it sprayed all over his mom's kitchen and made a huge mess, so... Prank it, prank it your own risk. <laughs> Okay, this is three quick pranks that you can do at home. We've got three different white condiments here. We've got salt, we've got coffee creamer, and we've got sugar. All three of these look virtually identical. We've got them each in these cups, and you really can't tell a difference. So for each one of these, like the salt, somebody wants to, say, put salt on their eggs in the morning for breakfast. You switch it out with the sugar, and that's gonna be absolutely disgusting. For the creamer, say somebody wants to put uh, creamer in their coffee in the morning, and you switch it out with salt, that's going to be a terrible, terrible cup of coffee. And for the sugar, say somebody wants to make lemonade, you've switched this out for coffee creamer. Yeah. Make <laughs> disgusting, like, creamer hey. aid. And here's another quick classic prank you can Loosen the top on a salt shaker or a sugar shaker. Just leave it sitting on just like that. 
And when they go to put seasoning on their food, they dump it out. Okay, so when you're gonna leave it loose, just leave it like that right here. Pop, comes right off, right on the thread. Mm -hmm. So from here you can kind of tell, maybe slightly. Yep, but if it's but sitting down on the like table. Like that, no one's gonna tell anything. They're just gonna to pick tell. it up, it's gonna come oh. out. <laughs> Classic. All right guys, for this prank, you're gonna get some vegetable juice and some hot sauce. And this is a brutal one. You're just gonna get two cups and you're gonna pour out some vegetable juice for your friend or whoever. But the trick is one is going to be straight up hot sauce. Both look pretty identical. Not too much of a difference, slightly so, but nothing to wear when someone comes, here you go man, have some good old vegetable juice bro. Let's go man, let's have our breakfast today. I want a big cheers, cheers bro. to the how to prank Evan Eric collab. Go ahead man, have a great big sip of that. Great. All the vegetables you need. Hot <laughs> <laughs> like sauce and like drinking in glass. Hot sauce is horrible. Yeah, hot sauce is good on the French fries or whatever the heck you're gonna put it on, your chili or whatever, but not straight up, huh? Oh, no, swallow it. <laughs> it's a classic prank to pull on your friends and family. Just make sure no one has any allergy issues. Prank at your own risk. Have fun with it. For this prank, you're gonna go to the restaurant supply store. You're gonna get one of these bottles. It's like a ketchup or mustard squirt bottle. So when you get these from the store, the nozzle, like the hole in it is not big enough. So you wanna cut about a half inch to a quarter inch off the top. Down, yeah. Yeah, so the hole is big enough. Then you wanna get a piece of yellow or red string, depending on the color of the bottle. You tie a knot on the top end. Then you also tie a knot on the bottom end. A bigger knot on the bottom. So now once you put this back in the bottle and you squeeze it, Whoa, people think mustard's being squirted out of them. Exactly. Show them a side angle of it. Sure. Take the bottle, hold it like this, and you're gonna squeeze tight. Uh, and when you shoot that in front of someone's face, they're gonna see this yellow string, they're gonna think it's mustard for a split second, and you're gonna watch them jolt. It works every time. Well, that's good. For this prank, you're gonna super glue the condiments to a tray. Check it out. So, just get that super glue. And it's like more like, this one's like a gel epoxy. And you just want to make sure you get a good layer in there and just stick it on there, let it dry. And same goes for this. It probably worked better if these condiments were empty, just so they're not weighted, but I don't think this will be a problem with this kind of glue we have. I would probably wait to get lighter ones, but we don't want to waste it, so. So it's the next day, your glue is dry, condiments are stuck to the tray. And now you can go take your tray out, your condiment tray, your friends and family will be like, Hey Grandpa, you need some ketchup? Wow! Hey Mom, catch! They're all gonna jump, they're gonna flip out. Easy condiment prank to play on your friends and family. Alright guys, for this prank, prank at your own risk. But you're gonna need some pepper. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna give somebody a pepper mustache. So after the picnic, after the family gathering, people are full, they're happy, and they're starting to get sleepy. Time to take a nap. Well, that's where this wonderful pepper condiment comes into play. You're gonna take a straw and you're gonna drop it inside this pepper. What that does is it holds a little bit of pepper inside. Now, the trick is take your straw and you're gonna go to your friend who's passed out sleeping. And you're just gonna trickle this pepper right on his nose or right on top of his mustache. And then when they wake up, <laughs> Stop it! Stop it! Oh my god! It's like there's a fucking jalapeno on my nose. <laughs> Not a good idea. <laughs> oh, so, I don't know how your friend's gonna wake up, but this is a great demonstration, Evan. You gave a good example. Dude, this is horrible. Your acting is stellar, bro. <laughs> I wish it was acting. <laughs> Dude, you know how you clear it? Just like this. Go. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh god. I feel like it's like in my sinus cavity. <sighs> Is it better? It's peppery. <laughs> Very peppery. Uh, yeah, so your friend's gonna fall. So imagine waking up to that, dude. Yeah, it's horrible. <laughs> you wouldn't know what's going on. 
<laughs> I feel like it's so on my nose. <laughs> Go get a napkin, there's, dude. Yeah, this is without pepper. <laughs> Go get a napkin. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Frankie at your own risk on that one it is dangerous, it is funny though, so the more dangerous it is, sometimes the more funny it is. Please give this video a thumbs up for Evan being a good sport and demonstrating the pepper, mustache, wake up nose. Oh your... God, that's so bad. What are you doing over there, man? Anybody need some pepper for their eggs, Evan can just come blow it. <laughs> Hello, sir, would you like some pepper on your egg? <laughs> All right, guys, let us know which one of these pranks was your favorite in the comments below. Evan, which one was yours? I'm gonna have to go with the squirt ketchup bottle. It's like one of my favorite, the squirt mustard ketchup bottle. It's one of my favorites. Oh, I was gonna thought you were saying the ketchup with the baking soda. Oh, that was awesome too, but that's like my the, favorite. the fake out, like with the string, that's like one of my favorites ever. Let us know which one was your favorite in the comments below and put a timestamp of where it was so we can all find your favorite prank. Make sure you go over and subscribe to Evan Era TV. We just did 10 magic tricks coffee. with coffee. Yeah. And links in the description. Hit that thumbs up button. Live inspired, shock the world. We'll see you next time. Take some coffee and spill it right there on the, on the napkin. Okay. Dump it inside your fist. All the sugar in there. Absorb it. Where did it go?